not losing my mind. You are. <sighs> don't, don't tap it. Ugh. Did you ever have one of these terrible arcades when you were little? Yeah, these ones. I know you remember. I also got a lot of these, and honestly, I still have the one I liked, but none of them really ever worked out. And today, while cleaning, I was inspired and was like, hey, why haven't I tried that out again? And sure enough, I ended up finding this. I ignore the eyes, so we'll fix them. I promise. So. Turning to Google, I'm trying to find a reference that's very similar to Grogu's current positioning in his cradle. Is it a cradle? Do Jedi Masters have cradles? Is he a Jedi Master? I haven't watched season three yet, don't cover me. Now, getting rid of those goodness knows terrible markers and all the other supplies that fall into that category, we will now begin to start with our base coat. With the base coat being dark green, I wanted to bring to attention the very common color palette that we see in The Mandalorian, which is a lot of different hues of browns, teals, dark greens, and reds. Right now, I'm really just painting down the first layer of many for my lighter green. This will start with shadowing at the head, and it will really help bring all the colors together, the dark green helping balance it out for that nice sage green that Grogu really is. And now, as promised, it is time for me to tackle those very bulbous eyes. How, how could you do that to such a cute face? Like, what is this? I digress. But anyway, if you look at the reference pic, you can see that his eyes are actually quite small. They're very heavily lidded, though. And with all the space we have, we can almost use it as a canvas to make the illusion that he does indeed have eyelids. Now that the eyes are more proportional to the face the way they're supposed to be, I'm just going to let them dry so that I can finish the top eyelid. Now I'm going to start the process of blending both his coat and you'll see um, I also get to his ears. And let me tell you, I didn't think this was going to take very long. Usually, blending is my thing. I almost do it too much. But those ears... A few moments later... I'm not losing my mind. You are. Ugh. Like, I genuinely thought this would take maybe five minutes, as I'd already had a little bit of the pink down with his ears. But, um... At least he's done now, right? Right? <sighs> But where were we? Oh yes, my favorite part. Tiny detail time. Yeah! Now, my first immediate focus is the frog in the corner, if you can call it a frog. The poor thing. You know, that's all I have to say. <laughs> now, if we look at the back, there's a computer monitor, which I kind of want to spice up a bit with some glow effects. Now, getting some inspo from the background of the show, I want to really pull out some of the um, buckets and baskets that we see in the background. And seeing there's a pot right there on the back, that gives me the perfect opportunity to do so. And it makes it easier for me because now I can figure out what texture I want to do. Which I've decided a nice potter type with some like blue dust to really give it a more realistic feel. And also, you know, it is like, they are on sand planets most of the time, so it kind of fits. <laughs>
Now that most of the color is on, I'm going to turn my attention to all the tiny spots that I missed along the way. And also filling in this pot, which I somehow missed. But you know, perfect opportunity to add some blue that we somehow haven't added yet. So finishing up with some of those strokes, I'm also going to go and add some more green to help brighten it up a bit. And then I'm going to add some silver for the middle of the computer screen so that it can pop more and not be so hidden. And for some reason, I'm also adding another layer of brown to this pot. I really don't know why. <laughs> but apparently, I thought it looked good, so I ended up changing the whole thing on the other one as well, which I honestly am kind of disappointed in myself. I like the old one now, better looking back, but I guess... It's done, it's done. Now, looking back at that glue, glue. Glow details. <laughs> All right, so taking my red paint marker, I'm just doing the same shapes that I made before on my reference, just copying them right from that. Just putting down the first layer of red so then I can put down orange later, and then I'm gonna highlight it all with white. A little off topic, and maybe I'm the last person in the world to discover this, but I love how the tips are reversible. Ugh, don't, don't tap it. Ugh, you know, I wonder why I always have paint on my hands. And now that I'm focused on what I'm actually supposed to be doing, let's get started on the orange. So I forgot to film the white part, so we're just gonna do a cool transition instead. So, uh, that's fine, right? All right, and then moving on, I'm just going to finish up the frog, which I also forgot to film, but you're seeing the last parts, which is fine. He's cute though, right? Aww. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, dramatic reveal time. Alas, he has been finished. And honestly, I'm really happy with how he came out. It came out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Sure, he's not perfect. Nothing he usually is. We're all human. And he's perfect for my sci-fi shelf. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Please comment down below what you thought. Till next time. Bye!